In this video, I'll demonstrate testing a strategy with Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation using their paper trading accounts. When you're ready to go live, you should already have a good idea of how your strategy will perform with their live accounts. This strategy example is a mean reversion strategy that looks to buy if three one-minute bars close below the one-minute lower Bollinger Band. The strategy will sell if three one-minute bars close above the one-minute upper Bollinger Band. The strategy will also use assets from the Mean Rev Watch View tab and will calculate all the remote global variables needed for the strategy based on that list. Here's one example of an asset on that list, and here you see the remote global variables already calculated and feeding to Timora Pro. This window is the account handler between Timora Pro and your IB Trader workstation, and can also be used as one more way to monitor activity between the two. Here's your IBTWS window. As you see, it says simulated trading. So we're almost ready to go. All we have to do is change the account from train one to our simulated paper trading account and hit start. And now we wait. So here we have a few positions that came up. So let's take a look. Here we have all the statistics on the position all the way up to the strategy set. This was the trigger for the position. So look at the position log. So we see the positions that were taken. We just have another position that came up. Let's take a look at our IB account. So here are our open positions, all the uh, active API orders, which you see here as well. And we can separate this action log out as well. Just double click the action log header. Let's take a look at what these look like on a chart. JBLU News. RFMD. And you see here we can even adjust our targets. I'm going to raise this up a little bit and you see now on the action log external adjust target for RFMD plus one here's our target 1229 in the uh, IBTWS you also have the read eval print loop for programmers, if you want to get deeper into your strategy, you can take a look at some of the parameters and statistics, variables of your strategy. As one example, let's just take a look at the uh, current bid on RFMD. There's your bid. Help shows you all the different commands you can do. Set the asset to RFMD show targets. This is all the information on our current target for RFMD. Show VARs. Here are the remote global variables we're currently accessing for RFMD. Again, the list being used here 
is from the view tab, this mean rev tab. Okay, we're getting a few more hits now. Let's take a look at our trade log here. So this is all from uh, Interactive Brokers. We just got another hit for J Blue filled. Bought 500 shares. And you can make any type of adjustments you want here in between the strategy will adjust. For example, let's say we want to add an extra 100 shares to RFMD. You can just buy that RFMD. and buy. add to the strategy. You just see we just went up. Our position size went up. And here, add managed long for 100 shares you see in the action log here as well since it's mirrored so we've run this strategy now for about two hours it's really just a demonstration of how easy it is to switch over your strategies and uh, even testing over to uh, interactive brokers using their uh, trader workstation um, as we see here are our current uh, positions current open positions in our portfolio. Again, here's the uh, API page with all of our orders. You've seen how we can adjust any of these on the fly, add to the positions. If we want, we can easily drop, say, 50% of a position like I just did on MU here. And now I'll just flatten the whole strategy. You can watch this happening in your TWS. Strategy set stopped. And that's it. We're flat. Here are the final performance results. And let's take a look at the final position log. See the whole performance on the long side and the short side throughout the run. You see the positions, the value at risk. And there you go.